Welcome to Informatica Support. My name is Divya Shri. In this video, I am going to present you the demo on how to create a CDC data maps for Oracle sources. Agenda for this video. Let's start with configuring navigator and then adding a CDC data map that is uh, registration and extraction maps from the navigator and finally database root test from for the extraction map created. Let's go to the demo now. Open the dbmo configuration file from the Power Exchange Navigator install directory. There, add a node statement pointing to the remote listener. Here, I have added I have added a IP address and the port number where the listener is running, and the node name is node one. Save this file and launch the navigator. From the na navigator, open the data capture folder. Then go to the registration groups and right click there to add a registration group. I am giving a registration group here as ORA CDC and provide the location name that is node 1 and database type is Oracle and Oracle user ID and password. And collection identifier. This is the collection identifier that you have given in a, a listener oracle ID statement. And I'm also adding a registration map here. So checking this option here and click on next. So. Uh, I am adding a registration map also here so giving the registration name as tab1 and give the uh, oracle user schema name click on next it will list all the tables under the schema um, I am going to the register the table called ta table1 Select the columns. I have uh, it's already by default the column one and column two selected. So I'm clicking on next. In order to capture the changes, we have to make the registration as active. If we want to add it to the contents, then I have to check it as part. And execute DDL will create a supplement group for the uh, table created. So I have I have already created a supplementing group. So I am unchecking this. Clicking on finish, it will save the SQL file. Anyways, now I have a registration map created. When we have a registration map created by default, the Power Exchange Navigator will create an extraction map for that. So it's already so when we can see here the extraction map is created. That is tab one. So I'm selecting the extraction map. We will do the road test on the extraction map to see what all the changes we can capture for this table. For doing a root test, we have to give the application name and click on go. Now you can see the results of the database root test. You can see the changes captured for this table. There is two inserts and one updates and deletes. So now this extraction map is ready to be as a source for a power center mapping. You can import this extraction map as a real time source for the power center mapping. Like this you can create an extraction and restriction maps for the oracle source tables. Okay. Uh, with this we come to the end of this video and please refer navigator user guide to know about how to create a registration and extraction map for other sources also. We would love to hear from you through the below sites. Thank you.